Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a button with an icon using HTML and CSS. So this right here is going to be uh, what we're going to be creating. So fairly straightforward button with an icon on the right side right here. This is going to be super easy to create. You can easily include it in your own projects or websites and I'll be leaving a link to the source code below if you want to download it and follow along. Now, as we can see, if you hover over the button, it's going to change the background color, make it a bit darker. If you click on the button, it's going to make it even darker than that. So pretty standard button behavior. Now, when it comes to the icon itself, we're going to be using the Ion Icons uh, library pack. So as we can see, you can pick through many open source icons, whichever one you want to use. In my case right here, I just search for download and I'm using this one right here. I'll leave a link to this below, but in order to actually use the icon library, we need to first include it on the web page. So going up to the usage section right up here, we can simply copy and paste this script tag into the HTML. So I've got this empty document right here. Let's go inside the actual text editor and paste this at the bottom of the body. The reason for the bottom of the body is because we want all of this stuff right here to load up right before this gets loaded. So once you've done that, we can now begin coding. So I'll try and get through this, like I said, as quickly as I can, but we're going to be creating right here a new HTML button. This will have a type also of button. Um, alongside that, we're going to have a class of button. So the reason for the class of button is because we only want to apply styles in CSS to every button with this class. We don't want to apply CSS styles to every button on the page. So having that class right there is going to allow us to restrict um, the appearance. Also, inside the actual button, we're going to have two main areas, the text and the icon. So let's make a new span right here with a class of button underscore underscore text inside here. We're going to say download for example. Also, pressing, uh, pressing shift alt down, a second span with a class of icon. This one right here is going to be, as the name suggests, a container for the icon. So inside here, we're going to include the HTML to render out our icon. So back on the icon library web page, once we choose an icon, so for example, download right here, we can then copy and paste the code to include it. Copy this down here, just simply click on it, go back in the uh, text editor, paste it inside here, and we're done. So now, saving this, going back in the browser, we can see we've got something like this. So we're definitely getting there, but of course, let's add some CSS. So back inside the text editor, let's just go up in the CSS, and we're going to be firstly targeting the class of button. So for the button class, we're going to be setting a display of inline flex. The reason for a flex box right here is because we want to be able to lay out the text on the left side and the icon on the right side. So of course, flex is going to allow us to do so. Also, let's set a height of 50 px. You can make this whatever you like. Let's add some padding of zero. All of the padding is going to be set inside the child elements down here. So we're going to make the parent have no padding. A background of 009578, that is the decode green color. We're going to set a border of none and an outline of none just to remove those default borders and outlines. We're going to be replacing those with our background color changes on hover and click. Okay. Uh, also, a border radius of 5px just to make it rounded corners as well as an overflow of hidden and this will ensure that any content inside the button which overflows the container will still be restricted and covered by the border radius. Okay, we're going to also say right down here a font family of I'm going to use quicksand and then sans serif as my backup. We're going to be setting a font size of 16px and this right here is going to be our base font size for the icon and the button. We're going to be seeing how this works on, uh, how this works very shortly. Okay, let's also add a font weight here of 500 just to make it look a bit nicer in terms of thickness. Okay, a cursor of pointer and we are basically done when it comes to the main container. Saving this right here, going back in the browser, refresh, 
we can see we have something like this. We've got the actual height of the button, got the background color. Um, so now we need to, of course, just include those background color changes when hovering over and clicking on the button. So back inside the text editor, let's target now button and we're going to say button colon hover. So when hovering over the button, we're going to set a background color to be a darker version of what was set above. So in this case, 008168 is a darker version of what I set right up here. Okay, the same goes for the active pseudo class. Let's do this once again, shift alt down and make this active. When you click on the button and hold it down, it's going to change to be darker. Let's make this 006E58. Quite straightforward. Let's save this, go back in the browser and now hovering over, got the actual background color, click on it, it goes even darker and there we go. Next up, let's target the text and the icon back inside here. Let's go down here. I'm going to say button underscore underscore text and also button underscore underscore icon. So for these two, we're going to say once again a display of inline flex. The reason for Flexbox in this case is going to be so we can quite easily vertically center the content, whether it's the text or the icon. So let's combine this with align items and center to achieve that and also um, a padding of zero and then 24 px so zero top and bottom and 24 px left and right so like i said earlier essentially the padding is going to be inside the child's or the children not on the main uh, parent right up there okay also a zero of top and bottom means that the height of the button is going to give us that space instead let's set a color here of white and then refresh as we can see we've got this right here so it's quite nice, we've got this padding on the left and right side there, but it is not vertically centered. So to make this vertically centered, we need to increase the height of the button text and the icon right there. So let's make this a height of 100%. So now this right here is gonna kick into play. Save this, as we can see, it is now vertically centered. So now the last part of today's video is gonna be the actual icon. So back inside here, let's apply some basic styles to the button icon class. So for this one, let's set a font size of 1.5 EM. 1.5 EM means 1.5 times the current font size. Up above, we set the current font size or the base font size to be 16 PX in the parent of the icon right here. So now it's saying 1.5 times 16 PX, giving us 24 PX. Let's set a background here or background color to be RGBA 000, 000 0.18 or 0 0.08. This means a black background with an 8% opacity. Saving this, going back in the browser, as we can see, we have that nice background color. So basically, um, the dark background color is going to blend through and make the base color come through, as we can see right there. So that is how to create your button using HTML and CSS. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.